Hi guys, I will discuss the signal flow graph, which is another concept uh, frequently used in control system to derive the transfer function of a complex uh, system. So first I will try to establish the analogy between uh, the block diagram algebra, block diagram description of a system with the signal flow graph and then we will see how to derive the transfer function of the system so if you see uh, this is the standard way of describing a control system where uh, input signal uh, is represented by rs and then uh, the main part is Hey guys, today I will explain the signal flow graph, which is another concept frequently used in control system to derive the transfer function of a complex system. Uh, this is another alternate way of the block diagram representation of the system. So first I will try to establish the analogy between the block diagram and the signal flow graph and then we will see how to derive the transfer function so if you see uh, this is the standard representation of a complex uh, control system having feedback uh, you have the control element represented by gs and a feedback element which is represented by hs and error amplifier uh, which is uh, comparing the input with the feedback signal and the error signal is represented by ES and RS and CS are the input and output of the system. Now the same system, uh, same block diagram can be represented as a signal flow graph. If you try to represent the same variables, uh, the signal variables which is input, output or any other intermediate signals they are represented as a node or point in a signal flow graph. So you have to understand or uh, realize the definition of the uh, certain parameters. So the first parameter defined uh, need to understand is a node. Node is nothing but a signal variable. You can see RS, the error signal, uh, output signal, they are represented as a node. In reality, this can be anything like current, voltage, or temperature, or position. Any such system variables can be represented as node. Now, the second parameter is called branch. Branch is nothing but the control, uh, the element of the uh, block diagram representation. So, like GS is an element. Here, the branch is a path through which you can travel from one node to another. So here, uh, the branch is defined from the ES going through the uh, branch to represent the output CS. And this path is called, uh, represented by GS. So branch is the path through which you can travel from one node to another and the branch gain is the path gain is represented by the gain of the or uh, of the particular block okay now input or source input is a node where you have the only outgoing signals paths so if in this case rs does not have any incoming path to it so this is input this is defined as input similarly output node is where you have uh, only incoming stuff so we can in this case cs is the output but then we can represent it as another node with uh, gain of one this is interchangeable okay now 
forward path. Forward path is the way you can travel from one node to another. In this case, if you want to go from RS to CS, you have to travel through ES and then CS. So uh, you'll find one for one forward path, and the gain of that path will be one cross GS. Okay. Other parameter is the loop. Loop is again the standard. Uh, it goes with the name itself. Start from one node and come back to the same node through different options, through different path. That's called loop. And you will see another uh, parameter uh, which is called non-touching loop. Non-touching loop comes for a even complex uh, system. So this this is a simple example where I do not have a non-touching loop. But uh, with a, a more complex system, you will see uh, multiple loops. And if they don't share a common node, then you can say they are non touching loop. Okay, now I will go for a complex system where we will try to identify the uh, different parameters. So, how many nodes you have in the system? You have uh, nodes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You have 7 nodes in the system. And those variables are defined as RS, V5, V1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and CS. And out of all these things, you can see RS is the input. And CS is output because CS has only incoming signal path to it and RS has only outgoing path okay branch there are many and you can pick any of them identify okay so oh, this one uh, okay we can see these are the branch And then there are multiples like this. They are branch. Now, how many loops are there? You can see. You can see. Uh, we have one loop over here. So loop one. You have one loop where you start from G four, go to, sorry, start from V three, go to V two, and come back to V three. Okay, you have another loop over here which uh, starts from V3, V2, V1, and comes back to V1. Okay, so we have three loops in the system. Uh, I guess I, we have one more which is coming from G4 goes to G6. So you can go from this, come back to this path. Okay, so L1, this is L2, this is L3, this is L4. So four loops. Okay. Now non-touching loops. Now you can see that L1 does not share any node with any of this L2, 3, 4. So we have four combination of non-touching loop L1, L2, L1, L3, L1, L4. Okay. The third thing is how many forward paths are there in the system? We have one path where it starts from RS through B5. RS through B5 through B4 through uh, V3, V2, V1, CS. Other path is you still come here and then you have this and this. We have two forward path, four loops and so many nodes and branches in the system. Is that clear? 
fine now i'll go to uh, the next step where we will try to find out the transfer function of this system now the transfer function of the system is given by masson's gain formula where uh, we can just identify the number of loops forward paths and from that we can find out the transfer function now gain of a path or the loop is defined as by, uh, defined by the multiplication of their branch gain so for example the loop gain of this l1 is g2 h1 s okay and so on so now the transfer function is given by the sum of its path gain divided by the determinant delta of the of the system so the delta is again defined uh, by the different loop gains so i'll explain it little bit more uh, this pk and delta k is nothing but the gain of the path followed by the non touching loop non touching loop gain one minus okay so for example in this particular case we do not have a non touching loop for any of this path we have two path this is p1 and the p2 is okay so p1 is nothing but g1 g2 g3 g4 it's g1 cross g2 cross g3 cross g4 cross g5 cross g7 okay and p2 is g1 g2 g3 g4 g6 and g7 okay so this is p1 and p2 now the delta for the system is defined as uh, delta p m1 is basically all individual loop gain so if we have four loop l and the gain of loop 1 is g2 and h1 s okay l2 is g4 into h2 okay similarly l3 is uh, g4 g5 h2 g4 g5 h3 okay and l4 is g4 g6 h2 g4 g6 h2 so you have to identify the loops and their loop gains now the transfer function is cs by rs is given by p1 plus p2 divided by 1 minus first term is sum of all individual loop gains which is nothing but l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 plus sum of combination of two non touching loops so in this case l1 does not share any node with l2 so we can say l1 l2 is one pair of non touching loop then l1 l3 is another pair of non touching loop and l1 l4 and we do not have any combination of 
three non-touching loops. So the problem ends over here. And this is a generic form you can use for any complex systems. Once you can construct the signal flow graph for the system. Okay, that's all for this uh, topic. We'll come back with uh, problem sets in the example video next. Bye bye.